The U.S. Army's Super Hercules and MC-130W Dragon Spear are two transport aircraft that I believe are not new to anyone. It's just that many people don't know that they have another name, called the Angel of Death. The reason why people will give them such a name is not because of their transport capacity, after 2012, the US military added a chain gun to these transport aircraft. This gives the large aircraft, which originally only had a transport function, direct access to powerful air firepower. This chain gun is the famous MK-44 Bushmaster II. The MK-44 chain gun was a powerful gun modified from the M242 by the American Orbital ATK. The caliber of the barrel was increased by 50%, and the barrel was covered with a layer of chrome to extend the firing life, making it possible to keep the barrel intact even under continuous firing. This change alone gave the MK-44 a huge increase in firepower over the M242. The MK-44 was a dual-axis design, 3.4 meters long and weighing 154 kilograms, with an effective range of 3,000 meters and an ultimate range of 5,100 meters. The MK-44 fires the standard GAU-8 Avenger 30 by 173 mm ammunition and is also capable of firing NATO-caliber PGU-14 armor-piercing incendiary and PGU-13 high-explosive incendiary rounds. At full firepower, it is capable of firing 200 rounds per minute, or an average of 3 rounds per second. The MK-44, with its uncomplicated but powerful structure, has been in service since 1972, and 50 years have passed since then. It is still in service with the US Army and many NATO allies. This shows that the MK-44 is still very powerful on the modern battlefield. In the beginning, the MK-44 was the main weapon of the Bionics II armored fighting vehicle and similar vehicles such as the Polish KTO Rosomak and the Finnish, Norwegian, and Swiss CV-90. According to incomplete statistics, the armored fighting vehicles of nearly 20 countries are equipped with the MK-44. The reason why it is recognized by so many countries is that in addition to the MK-44's own powerful firepower output, the MK-44 is also equipped with infrared sensors, cameras, and laser rangefinders with tracking systems. The MK-44 can be operated semi-automatically when used as the main weapon of a combat vehicle, helping the combatant quickly track small targets moving at high speed on the ground. The semi-automatic design makes the MK-44's accuracy greatly improved, which is what attracts countries to equip it. Affected by the terrain, the MK-44 has an effective range of 2,000 meters on a combat vehicle. It is worth mentioning that the MK-44 has a conventional reserve of 1,800 rounds of ammunition. With such a high ammunition reserve, Coupled with its excellent range and accuracy, it is no wonder that so many countries treat it as a treasure. Let's take a look at its ammunition in slow motion to see what kind of destructive power it actually has. One shell instantly destroys a fortification. Some people may say this does not look very strong, ah, uh, the wall did not break. Compared with large caliber artillery shells or missiles, this power is really not strong. But don't forget, at this level of strike, MK-44 can hit 1,800 times in a row. No fortification or armored vehicle can withstand the intensive bombardment of its 1,800 rounds of ammunition. In 2007, the USAF looked at the firepower of the MK-44, which the US Army considered more powerful than the 25 to 137 mm GAU-12 Gatling machine gun. The plan was to install the 44 Malawian Quachas on the AC-130U Spectre. But in the follow-up tests, it was found that installing the MK-44 would have an impact on the gunship's firing accuracy, so the plan was eventually cancelled. But the US Army will not give up easily. Since the gunship cannot be installed, the transport aircraft cannot be installed. After all, transport aircraft do not need to shoot accurately. So the US Army installed the MK-44 on the AC-130W Stinger II as well as the Super Hercules and MC-130W Dragon Spear. 
This gave these aircraft air-to-air -air and air-to-ground support capabilities in addition to transport capabilities. In addition to land and air, maritime vessels were also fitted with the 44 Malawian Quachas. The 44 Malawian Quachas can be seen on most NATO military ships, such as the San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock and the Royal Navy Type 23 frigate. If the MK-44 mounted on an aircraft is a gun, the MK-44 mounted on an armored vehicle is a heavy sniper rifle. Then the MK-44 installed on a warship is automatically upgraded to a more accurate, longer-range continuous-fire sniper gun. On the warship, the MK-44 is mounted on a fully automated base and has an external optoelectronic device. This is the MK-46 naval gun weapon system that the US Army began using after 2007. The turret is fitted with a forward-looking infrared, FLIR, sensor, a low-light image camera, and a laser rangefinder. Coupled with its fully automated base, the 46 Malawian Quachas can perform a number of fully automated operations, whether searching for and locking on targets or firing defensive fire. In the event of a small, fast surface raid, the MK-46 can range and lock on to the target itself, counterattack at a rate of 200 rounds per minute, and feed the 44 Malawian Quachas with up to 400 rounds of ammunition per minute. In addition, the turret system enhances the stability of the MK-44, giving it an effective range of a staggering 5,100 meters and a warning range well beyond human visual distance. If it is not powerful enough, the MK-44 can be turned into a 40mm machine gun system by simply replacing the barrel and a few key components to meet the needs of different situations. In addition to being compatible with different calibers, the improved MK-44, also known as the ATKM-44, is capable of firing proximity airburst ammunition. This ammunition was affectionately known as the Trench Infantry's Nightmare. Why is it called the Trench Infantry's Nightmare? Simply put, the proximity airburst ammunition has a programmable airburst fuse inside. This is actually a time fuse. This fuse has been available since the early 20th century, but at that time, it was still a mechanical time fuse, which was not precise enough in terms of accuracy and minimum time interval. The 310 Malawian Quacha's programmable airburst munition of the ATKM-44 can control the explosion time of the shell by non-contact programming of the fuse through the coil at the muzzle of the gun. The main reason for controlling the detonation time and designing it as an airburst is that this ammunition is specifically designed for anti-personnel killing. In order to enhance the killing power against personnel, the projectile uses a kinetic energy killing warhead with multiple cylindrical subsonic flying bodies inside. The warhead explodes in the air while the munition casing shatters, throwing all the flying bodies out. The flying bodies continue to fly forward or downward due to inertia and form a fan of plus or minus 10 to 15 degrees, which is very efficient at killing personnel. Even if the enemy soldiers are hiding inside the trenches, they cannot escape from the shrapnel flying from the sky. That's why this kind of artillery shell specifically designed to deal with soldiers inside the trenches was known as the Nightmare of Trench Infantry. The ATKM-44 was also upgraded in the ammunition supply system. The traditional chain gun had to reload if it needed to fire high explosive when firing the armor-piercing munition. But the ATKM-44's bidirectional ammunition supply system allows different rounds to be loaded for different targets without a ceasefire. In 2018, the US Army announced that it was going to install an upgraded version of the Bushmaster chain gun, another version of the MK-44, the XM-813, on 1000 striker vehicles. Real-world tests on armored fighting vehicles showed the XM813 to have an accurate firing capability of up to 3,000 meters, twice that of the Browning M250 caliber heavy machine gun. That same year, another derivative of the MK44, the ATK MK44 ABM, was selected by the Spanish Army as the main gun for the Dragoon's infantry fighting vehicle. 
Judging from the countries equipped with the MK-44 and the percentage of MK-44 in their armament, the fact that a chain gun that has been in service for 50 years is still active on the battlefield today is a testament to the success of the MK-44 series.